Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this Microtech configuration series videos, we will see how you can configure a PPPI link that connects to the ISP and get internet access. As you can see, I have a PPPI link at my home without any VLAN, whereas my remote site, which is in dark theme, has a PPPI link with a VLAN in it. So we will see how you can configure PPPI client on Microtech router with and without VLAN. We look at both automatic configuration in QCET and also manual configuration as well. We would also see how you can change the MAC address in PPPoE side as well, which will be useful when migrating from existing router to Microtech. I also have a step-by-step -step guide on my blog article. So if you go to Network, Microtech, and here you go, how to configure PPPoE on Microtech router, which covers and details the same topic. So if you are interested in this step-by-step -step guide, I'll put the link in the description as well, so you may check it out. And if you like what you're watching, as always, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, which would definitely encourage me to create more such content like this one. So let's get started. We will start with the quick set. So log into the Winbox. If you don't have Winbox, that's okay. You can try HTTP or HTTPS, however you're accessing the Microtech. And if you click on address, you can see I only have LAN address, which is 192.168.1.254 slash 24 and which is my gateway as well and there is no public IP at all. If you look at the interfaces, you don't see any PPPoE interface either and in the bridge, except Ethernet 1, shortly written Etha 1, remaining port are part of default bridge which indicates the Ethernet 1 is connected directly to the ISP as a physical link. The rest of the ports are part of bridge. So let's go ahead and configure in QCET. Click on QCET at the top left corner you can pretty much configure everything here, including the LAN, Wi-Fi, DHCP, NAT, and so on, including the VPN. Since I already have everything set up except PPPoE, except the internet, I'm gonna configure that. So click on internet. You know what, let me initiate some ICMP traffic to the internet so that we can see live when the internet is back online. Go to tools and click on ping enter the IP 8.8.8.8 and click on start and you see it's timing out great because I don't have internet let me keep this aside back to QCET expand the internet and choose PPPoE you see there is nothing much here just a username and password pretty easy right so paste the username that you received from the ISP and the password and if you would like to change the MAC address this is the right time to do so once we go live with the internet, it would be a bit difficult to change the MAC address from the terminal or GUI. Although I tried to set the MAC address to a different one from the terminal, it never worked. But if you go to QCET again, you can still change it. So just remember that. So you might be wondering why you want to change the MAC address in the first place. You see, there are some ISPs who cache the MAC address. So when you configure the PPPoE credentials with a new router, it will not work until they clear the MAC address of the old router from their side. So if you already have a working internet, I would recommend you log into the old router and get the router's MAC address and copy that and paste it here. So from the ISP perspective, you're not putting any new device and you don't have to deal with clearing the MAC address from the ISP side. ISP will continue to see the old interface MAC will let you connect. So you can basically change the MAC address here. All right, let me undo the changes that I've done and click on apply. You can see now the PPPA chair has changed to connected and the ICMP ping is also responding. Great. You can also see I got a public IP as well, which of course I grayed out. And in this side, I have a dynamic IP. So if I want to do any sort of IPsec configuration or port forwarding, I rely on the DynDNS cloud service from Microtech. If you want to know how to do that, click on the video card at the top right corner. In case if the ping doesn't work, it is possible that you may not have NAT configured. So ensure you are doing the source NAT and choose the action as masquerade option. So it will work fine. You know what? Let me remove this NAT configuration at the moment. And in the next section, which is a manual configuration, we will see how it goes. And let's go to interfaces. Let me remove the PPPoE configuration now. Let's start with the manual configuration. In the interface, I know that Ethernet 1 is connected to the ISP. So let me add some description to the interface name, Ether 1 ISP link. Let me do continuous ping now. This time I will use the built-in Microtech terminal instead of the tools. Click on terminal. 
ping 8.8.8.8 as expected no route to the host to configure pppoe let me go back to the interfaces and click on new from the drop down choose pppoe client unlike qxet you get a lot of options and many people get confused by seeing it let's see the settings that we have to change i'm leaving the name as default it picked up the first physical interface ethernet 1 isp link which we just renamed if you look at the traffic you see nothing in the dialogue option that's where we have to update the pppoe credentials put the username and password let me move the terminal closer so you can see when the internet connection is up put the password leave everything else default and click on apply as soon as i did that the pppoe link came up and i see some traffic and ping is working fine but you remember we removed the nat policy which means the lan users won't be able to access the internet although my microtech device can because it's initiating ping from its public ip not from the private ip so let me try to ping 8.8.8.8 .8 from my machine ping 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 and it's timing out. Let's go to IP, firewall, and NAT. Click on new. Change should be source NAT, which is SRC NAT. In the source address, let me put 192.168.1.0/24, which is my LAN IP. So if you have a different IP, you may put that. And in the action, it should be masquerade. And click on OK. As soon as I did that, you see the traffic just spiked because everything on my Wi Fi network started talking to the internet. Let me check my terminal. Hmm, it's still timing out. Everything looks good here. Let me stop and start over again. And there you go. The ping is now working fine. Great. So, this is how you can configure PPPoE manually. Let's log into the remote branch. Now, what if you have a VLAN? So you have to not only create PPPoE manually, but also you need to add VLAN as well. So let's see how we can do that. For the previous lab, I completely broke my network. I was recording in the middle of the night. Everybody was sleeping, so nobody made a big deal out of it. And I fixed the network back. And the next configuration, I'm doing it. It's a remote network. If I change something, the connection will break. I can't get back into the network because I don't have anybody at the remote site now. So I'll just show you how you can do that. All right. In the interfaces, these are the interfaces that I have. And if you look at the addresses, I have landside subnet as well as the internet public IP as well. Like before, the Ethernet 1 is my physical link connected to the ISP and I have a tagged VLAN subinterface. So if you go back to my blog article and if you look at this part, you see the Ethernet 1 is the primary interface or parent interface if you want to call it. And you create a VLAN on top of it like a VLAN tagging or sub interfaces. And then you create a logical PPPE on top of that. So the physical interface is Ethernet 1 and you create a two logical interfaces. One is VLAN and another one is PPPOE. So let's suppose you got a VLAN tag 50 from the ISP and you want to configure it. So what you would do, you go to new in the interfaces and click on VLAN. Let's give some friendly name, ISP VLAN 50 or something. The name could be anything. You don't necessarily have to mention the VLAN tag in the name. You could type your own name if you like. I'm just putting ISP VLAN 50 here. So it's easy for me to identify. Under VLAN ID, this is very important. You have to mention the VLAN tag. So it will be 50. And the parent interface will, of course, the Ethernet 1 that connected to the ISP modem. Newly created VLAN interface will now show up under Ethernet 1 interface. Click on OK. As you can see, the VLAN interface is now created. Now to create PPPoE on top of it, you click on New again and choose PPPoE client like we did in the manual configuration without VLAN. Leaving the default name, PPPOE parent interface will now become the logical VLAN interface and not the physical interface. And you configure the dialogue with the PPPOE credentials like we did before and click on OK. I'm not doing that here because if I do that, I might break the network, so I'm not gonna do that. Instead, let me open the existing PPPOE interface. Here you can see the parent interface is the VLAN. 
Let me remove the VLAN that we created and that's it. That's how you can configure PPPoE with and without VLAN in Microtech Router. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys on the next one.